Okay, I guess um, I'm gonna show you this project I just did. Um, if you look at the Ard if you look up Arduino bike speedometer, you can get started and it gives you some source code and um, basically um, here it is assembled on the breadboard here with my homemade uh, Arduino. I first tested on a real Arduino, but then I have so many of these homemade ones I made, so I may as well use this for this uh, test. So basically, all I have, I took the existing source code and modified it slightly, and I um, added a LED bar graph, and instead of the uh, LCD, uh, the liquid crystal display, I'm using a, this uh, little OLED uh, display here. So here, let me give it a whirl here. You can see that... Uh, Basically, it's a reed switch. This this tiny uh, green and blue wire are, is connected to a little reed switch right here. It's just a get. It's just taped on here as a ghetto style until I can three D print a, some fabrication for it. And uh, so basically, let me crank up the uh, bike, and you can see what's happening here. Okay, as you can see, all the all the lights on the LED bar graph are on. As it starts to go down, less lights are going to be on. So I had this thing calibrated. So anything over 25 miles an hour, all the, all 10 of the uh, lights will be on. And I think it's 2.5 miles per light. I figured, uh, you know, I'm not going to be going much faster than 30 miles per hour. So that's uh, that'll work fine for me. As you can see, uh, the lights are going down here. Now, in the software, you can calibrate the um, software if you measure your wheel out in a radius. And I don't even calibrate it yet. As soon as I make a container for this and everything, I'll calibrate it.